Varahamahira pronunciation, also called Varahamahira, was an Indian astronomer, mathematician, and astrologer who lived in Nujain. He was born in Avanti region, roughly corresponding to modern-day Malwa, to Adichwadasa, who was himself an astronomer. According to one of his own works, he was educated at Karpadaka. He is considered to be one of the nine jewels of the court of legendary ruler Yasho Daman Vikramaditya of Malwa. Works Panchasadantaka Varahamahira's main work is the book Pankasadantaka dated California. 575 CE gives us information about older Indian texts which are now lost. The work is a treatise on mathematical astronomy and it summarizes five earlier astronomical treatises, namely the Surya Siddhanta, Ramaka Siddhanta, Paulisa Siddhanta, Vasishtha Siddhanta and Paitamaha Siddhanta. It is a compendium of Vedanga Jyotisha as well as Hellenistic astronomy. Varahamahira was the first one to mention that the Ayanamsa or the shifting of the equinox is 50.32 seconds. The 11th century Iranian scholar Al-Biruni also described the details of the five astronomical canons. They have five Siddhantas. Surya Siddhanta i.e. the Siddhanta of the Sun thought to be composed by Lam Deva, but actually composed by Marius Ura also known as Mamuni Mayana stated in the text itself, Vasish the Siddhanta, so called from one of the stars of the Great Bear, composed by Vishnu Khandra, Paulisa Siddhanta, so called from Polisa, the Greek, from the city of Saintra, which is supposed to be Alexandria, composed by Polisa, Ramaka Siddhanta, so called from the Ram, i.e. The subjects of the Roman Empire, composed by Rishena, Pitahama Siddhanta. Brihat Sami to another important contribution of Varahamahira is the encyclopedic Brihat Samhita. It covers wide ranging subjects of human interest, including astrology, planetary movements, eclipses, rainfall, clouds, architecture, growth of crops, manufacture of perfume, matrimony, domestic relations, gems, pearls, and rituals. The volume expounds on gemstone evaluation criterion found in the Garuda Purana and elaborates on the sacred nine pearls from the same text. It contains 106 chapters and is known as the Great Compilation. On astrology he was also an astrologer. He wrote on all the three main branches of Jyotisha astrology. Brihat Jataka is considered as one of the five main treatises on Hindu astrology on horoscopy. Lagu Jataka, also known as Tswalpa Jataka, Samasa Samhita, also known as Lagu Samhita or Tswalpa Samhita, Brihat Yogayatra, also known as Mahayatra or Jakshaswamadhyaya Yatra, Yoga Yatra, also known as Tswalpa Yatra, Tikhani Yatra, Brihat Vivahapatl, Lagu Vivahapatl, also known as Tswalpa Vivahapatl, Lanya Varahi, Kutuhala Manjari, Dai Vajnavalaba. His son Prithayasis also contributed to Hindu astrology. His book Horus Ara is a famous book on horoscopy. Karna, the medieval Bengali Pertes astrologer, is believed to be the daughter in law of Varahamahira. Sankhya Siddhanta, another of Varahamahira's lesser known works, is the Sankhya Siddhanta. Not much is known about this work, since only a fragment of it was recovered. From what has been recovered, archaeologists state that it dealt with advanced arithmetic trigonometry, as well as some relatively basic concepts. Influences The Ramaka Siddhanta and the Paulisa Siddhanta were two works of Western origin which influenced Varahamahira's thought. Though this view is controversial as there is much evidence to suggest that it was actually Vedic thought indigenous to India which first influenced Western astrologies and subsequently came back to India reformulated. Number of his writings share similarities with the earlier texts like Vedanga Jyotisha. A comment in the Brihat Samhita by Varahamahira says, The Greeks, though barbarians, 
must be honored since they have shown tremendous interest in our science. Dot 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 quote closing parenthesis dot.